So here's a question. Is the Torah a book of stories or a book of laws? Hi everyone, this is Rabbi Ira Eben from Congregation of Shalom. And I want to share a short idea from the portion. The question is really posed in the opening Rashi of the Torah who asks, why does the Torah begin with the story of creation? Instead of perhaps the first mitzvah given to the Jewish people in Parsha, the mitzvah of Kiddush HaKodesh. And while we can discuss Rashi's answer at a later time, his question really formulates our understanding of what the Torah is. Is the Torah a book of stories or a book of laws? Now, this question comes to the forefront in our Parsha this week, Parsha Mishpatim. For the most part, our series of stories that we brought us here take a pause for some time, and instead we are inundated with laws. There are no less than 53 mitzvot in this week's portion, most of them having to do with civil law. And if you're coming to shul to hear the next chapter of the saga of the Jewish nation, you are likely to be incredibly disappointed. I was recently listening to an interview with director Ken Burns. He discussed the important role of the story play in our life. While one can argue a point or a position until they're blue in the face, the telling of a story gives one an opportunity to truly engage with their audience. It would make sense that before the Torah can introduce all of its laws, it must first share the story behind those laws. The story of the Jewish people provides the groundwork and the why for the laws that will create the civilization of a holy nation and a kingdom of priests. It was the great psychotherapist and Holocaust survivor Viktor Frankl who said in his book, Man's Search for Meaning, quote, one who has a why to live for can bear with almost any how. So the first book and a half of the Torah shares our incredible story as a nation and thus provides why we would be moved to embrace a life filled with mitzvot and responsibilities. Beyond that, though, the tales of our ancestors in the Torah begin a narrative of an ongoing story that is still being written. And what's amazing is, is that we are the next chapter in the book. By connecting to the Torah and the many, many laws that accompany it, we are continuing to write the remarkable story that is known as the story of the Jewish people, and perhaps the greatest story ever told. All of us who are witnessing the return and fruition of the land of Israel know that some of our greatest stories have still yet to occur. What a privilege it is to be a part of this story. Wishing you all an amazing Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom.